So I was given the task. I got to figure out 10 fragrances for life, tropical, warm weather, but it has to be niche. Am I up to the task? Let's see. Let's go. Welcome back to another video, guys. Thanks so much for the likes. On the previous video of this source here, we talked about 10 fragrances for life designer. I requested that you guys gave me likes. You did just that because you wanted to see part two with 10 niche fragrances for life. I gotta tell you, not an easy task, but I got 10 fragrances here that right now I would keep for the rest of my life if I moved into a place that's tropical, that's summer all year long. These would be my go-to guys. It's gonna be on a countdown style, so Let's hop right into it. Kicking things off here at the 10 spot, we have Precious Liquid Mandarin. Now, as the name implies, this fragrance is going to be all, all about and all around the note of mandarin oranges. Now, this smells so natural, so captivating, so indulging. If you guys know the note of mandarin in fragrances, just like grapefruit, it's very uplifting, it's, it's very sparkly, it's very fizzy, and it's really inviting. That's what this fragrance is all about. On my designer top list, I talked to you guys about your own cologne, and I said in a very hot day, scalding hot, there was one fragrance that I would pick over all my fragrances, and that would be it. So if it had to be niche, this would be the fragrance, guys. Hands down on smell alone, very natural smelling, very compelling, Mandarin for precious liquid. In fact, check the spread out, guys. I think they have five fragrances in their portfolio, all incredible. The pricing for what you're getting here is amazing, long lasting projects like crazy, and it smells incredible. Mandarin Precious Liquid at the 10 spot. At the 9 spot, we have a fragrance from Effective Studio. This fragrance is from Paris, from France. The brand is actually, they portray fragrances based on pictures. It's, it's like picture meets sense. They take a picture and they try to capture that fragrance with that particular image. In this case, we're talking about Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This fragrance is called Still Life in Rio. I love what Chalene Villora did here with this fragrance. I wore a lot of this fragrance over the years. I love the scent, it's like party in the bottle. It's inspired by the Rio de Janeiro coast, Copacabana, Ipanema, all the party, you know, places in Brazil and Rio in particular. So it has a very festive vibe about the scent and it also captures the drink Caipirinha, which is based in white rum, which is cachaça from Brazil. And this fragrance here is woody, got this vetiver cedar base with this gorgeous, fruity, you know, Caipirinha vibe up top. This stuff here, like I said, party in the bottle at the ninth spot. Now, of course, if I have 10 for life, I have to get all my bases covered when it comes to tropical and summer season. One particular genre in fragrance classification that I love is the Colonia genre, 4711, Tom Ford, the Roli Portofino Forte. All those would fit the bill, but I thought hard enough and I said, okay, this is the one that I love the most when it comes to scent, the performance. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about Aqua di Parma, Prestige Edition Colonia Intense. And as you see here, guys, I love this stuff. I've been wearing this since the inception of this fragrance in 2007. Two master perfumers got together to create this, Francois de Marchi and Alberto Marias. This is going to be inviting. It's gonna take that gorgeous Colonia vibe and add these really strong and powerful components to make, as the name implies, an intense cologne fragrance. It's gonna last a long time extremely great performance. The smell is just heavenly, guys. Take the Colonia vibe from Neroli Portofino, from uh, the original Colonia from Marco di Parma, you know, and add this beautiful spice in his heart to it. Pink pepper, ginger, cardamom, just to name some of the gorgeous notes here with vetiver and cedar at the base. This stuff here is stellar at the eighth position. If you like the Colonia genre, guys, don't snooze on this one. At the seventh spot, I need an elixir of class, something that really transposes a gentleman-like vibe, something for dresser occasions, for evening time when I wanna perhaps wear a jacket, you know. I love this fragrance, guys. And you guys know that GIT, Creed, Grenache Tweed is like the quintessential gentleman kind of a fragrance. This one here captures that essence and adds these really nice sparkly elements like a gorgeous lemon verbena, bergamot, and mint, which you don't have with GIT, and it's longer lasting and more powerful than GIT with the formulation, reformulations and all that stuff. You don't have to worry about with that one. This is called Rain from Royal Crown. Guys, what an incredible elixir, class, elegance personified in a bottle. Just gonna leave it at that. I talked to you guys about this fragrance before. You know, I'm gonna plug the video up here so you guys can check and learn more about this fragrance. But if you like GIT and you wanted something that's more powerful, longer lasting and fizzier, sparklier, mintier for the warm weather, guys. Rain is the way to go. All right, guys, 10 for life. I gotta keep a vetiver fragrance here. I love vetiver. I need to have a vetiver that is within these top 10. And of course, my choice goes to Roja 
Parfum Cologne Vetiver because it has this gorgeous Javanese slash Haitian Vetiver vibe, but it's also the most sparkly, fizzy and juicy Vetiver money can buy, guys. And it's also long lasting in quality. Of course, you can expect Rosia fragrances. This stuff here, stellar. Like I said, the bergamots, the limes, you know, the bergamots, all this juicy citrus that you have up top here along with ginger, the vetivers, the woody base, stuff is absolutely out of this world good, very well balanced, as good as it comes for a vetiver scent. If you guys are loving the picks for the niche 10 for life, tropical slash summertime, of course you can try all choices here in other thousands of designers or niche fragrances at perfume.com. Guys, enjoy. There's a code right now, MAX15, which will give you guys 15% off at checkout, including the MAX packs, which is basically the top summer choices or seasonal choices that I have for you guys. And you can utilize the MAX15 on top of it for additional sales. At the fit spot, this fragrance here is awesome for those that enjoy the beach life. If you enjoy going to the beach, especially beaches of the Mediterranean, this is like that kind of lifestyle personified in the bottle. And I'm talking about Bois 1920 Verde di Mari, which translates to English, the green of the sea. Very fitting name here to this fragrance because what you get is that sea breeze that's fruity, a little bit marine, a little bit salty, some floral components in here as well. I think there's ylang ylang here in the heart. It smells heavenly, definitely androgynous. A guy or a gal can pick this up and smell incredible. And of course, if you like the sea life that I talked about, the Mediterranean style lifestyle, that's what you're gonna get here, as good as it comes, Verdi Mari at the fifth spot. At the fourth spot, this particular fragrance makes a lot of my summer niche top videos throughout the last decade that I've been here on YouTube. And this is a powerhouse green and woody scent. It's got a lot of citruses up top that are very natural smelling, but then you have this green, powerful heart with a gorgeous cedar, sandalwood, and vetiver base. We're talking about Serjoff, Neo, this stuff here, guys, absolutely bonkers, powerful, beastly in performance. If you want, one thing though, this is gonna be a little bit sharp. So it's a little bit bitter and a little bit sharp in the opening. So a lot of people don't really love this fragrance. I, on the other hand, love it. It's sparkly, it's fizzy, it's bitter, it's sharp, but then it gets creamier, woodier, and again, vetiver, sandalwood, and cedar in the base, I'm sold. Neo, powerful green woody scent that you cannot dismiss. If you love this type of genre, if you live somewhere tropical, this stuff here is a beast for those type of scents. As I shared with you guys in this top video, Rain from Royal Crown, which I wanna use for more, you know, dressier occasions, evening time. This particular one here is the same deal. Romantic settings, evening time, dressier occasions. This not only is a great fragrance, one of my favorites for life, it was also my first niche ever purchase. Of course, I'm talking about Amouage's Reflection Man. This stuff here, incredible woody floral musk. Very central. The jasmine here is out of this world good. There's some lavender in here as well, but the floral aspect here with the musky, just sensual, great stuff. This is gonna really get people wanting to know what you're wearing. It's really gonna bring people in. What I like to describe this, this is a just a, it's a woody floral musk. I like to call this a woody sensual musk. Incredible stuff, guys. Try this. If you like jasmine, if you like musky scents, a great one. Again, more fitting for evening wear and dress your occasions, but something that I would definitely keep on my 10th life for tropical or summer season uh, occasions. Awesome stuff. Now these last two here, guys, are very interchangeable. Number two could be number one. At any given day, I could change this around. But right now, as it stands, I think it's quite the way I feel about these fragrances. Number two is going to be Nishanese Hashivat. This stuff here is perfection, pineapple perfection. If you love pineapple in your fragrances, this is fruity, it's sparkly, it's woody, it's spicy. It is so freaking good. And you don't have to worry about reformulations, you don't have to worry about batches. Hashivat from, from Nishani is gonna give you that same experience with whatever bottle you have. I have a 50 mil, this is a 100 mil, and believe me, it smells great, it's powerful, it's long lasting, and it's compliment pulling, guys. Hashivat, yes, resemblances with Aventus, but it's woodier and it's spicier. So absolutely incredible stuff. Hashiva from Nishani, one of my favorite tropical summer fragrances of all time. All right guys, what could be number one? If you follow this channel for any length of time, for the past three plus years, I've been raving about this company and I've been really, you know, just enchanted with this composition. Of course, if you guys follow this channel, you know that this fragrance would have to appear in this top tropical summer for life, niche. And I'm talking about the House of Amar Oud and the fragrance itself, Whetstone, guys. This is the best, hands down to this day, aquatic fragrance that I've ever tried. 
It is absolutely incredible. The fragrance greets you with this fruitiness, minty, mineral, an aquatic vibe. It's a little bit salty. It's a little bit earthy. You have vetiver here. You have a little bit of oud as well. There's a lot of crazy notes in here. So it's like an aquatic with a backbone. The two key words here that would fit this, spray, this fragrance perfectly would be, you know, unique and powerful. So it's a refreshing aquatic that's very unique and very powerful. I'll go even as far as saying it's a little bit exotic. There's some components in here like the mineral notes, uh, the spices here, like the ginger, that just makes this pop. And it's just Unbelievable, guys. This lasts 10 plus hours on my skin. You know how much I love to spray my clothes. So if I want something to smell great in a tropical weather, in the summertime, this is my go-to, guys. It's been my go-to for the past three years. And I'm telling you guys, Amar Oud, the brand itself is no joke. Incredible stuff right here. Whetstone, number one tropical for life. So let me know in the comments, guys. This is your time. I wanna know what your top three, top five, or top 10 tropical niche fragrances or summertime niche fragrances for life that you would keep in your rotation. Let me know, sound off in the comments. Of course, if you appreciate the video, if you like me keeping you in a know here on the channel, please show your support. That's all I ask for. Leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, and of course, hit your little notification bell icon so you get these videos straight into your feed, which you know we do videos here quite often. As always, guys, remember, fragrance is emotion to emotion. It's an extension of who you are. So choose your fragrances wisely, and as always, wear them well. I'll see you guys again here with another one very soon. Take care.